Well, hopefully you like that little montage. Yes, the Immersive Optics big boys are here. We have the 10 by 40 prismatic and we've got the 14 by 50 prismatic to complete the Immersive Optics range. So, most of you guys know, I'm Steve from Ergonology. On this channel, we do a whole load of air rifles, pistols and technology review. Check below under the YouTube video description. In there, you'll find links to our Facebook group, our forum, our cool merchandising, which you really should get hold of, as well as obviously the link to our webpage where you can get hold of these scopes um, for a absolutely cracking price. So, immersive optics, as you guys know, and full disclaimer out at the moment here, is that I'm a reseller for immersive optics, but I've been testing these scopes now for a good year, um, and I've been selling the previous immersive optics scopes for a couple of months, and they've gone down really well. But eventually, we have the two big boys. Like I said, the 10 to 40 prismatic, the 10 times zoom 40 objective, and the 14 by 50, which is a 14 times zoom and 50 objective lens on here. Um, absolutely cracking scopes. They basically are the same apart from the different magnifications of the objectives. So we'll take the big boy here, the 14 by 50, and let's just have a little walk around on it. So nicely aluminium CNC'd all up. Um, perfect, beautiful quality on here. Um, all of the scopes that we sell will come with the mounts. Um, I do not sell scopes without mounts. I don't see the point in it. So let's just walk around the front. We've got a nice rubberized end cap on here. Um, really nice, simple design that I love about immersive optics is you can pick that up and you can drop that on the top of the turret to keep it out of the way. Um, really great. On here, we've got our, on this case here, our 50 times, our 50 mil objective lens. These are ultra low dispersion um, ED nitrogen filled. Uh, scopes um, super super quality and because this is a prismatic you'll actually end up getting three to four times the field of view which reduces that tunnel effect means you can see more when you're shooting so at 14 times zoom with this compared to a 14 times normal long scope what you're actually getting is a big field of view you can see what's going on you're shooting at a rat you can see one to the side really really nice superb the turrets themselves are uh, the twist off cap type um, and I'll leave specifications down below um, which shows you all of the MOA adjustments on these scopes but basically you turn these are all fully tested super defined clicks you can move the crosshairs around and they always return to zero um, really really nice um, screw back down so obviously you've got your windage and your elevation turrets we flip around to the other side we have an illuminated reticle now the 14 by 50 will come with two reticles. Um, you'll get the mill dot, which is your crosshairs with the mill dots. So that's what we call the mill dot classic. And then we're also bringing a new reticle for this scope called the mill dot extended. And I'll leave pictures for you to show that. So if you do get one of these scopes, make sure you pick the right one. But um, illuminated reticle, which is red. Uh, you've got uh, several levels of brightness on there. Press and hold will switch it off. And then onto one of the, I think is one of the most underrated features of these scopes is the side parallax. Now these, all of the immersive optic scopes will um, focus from six meters up to infinity. But this is so precise because of the, the method of the way that you get a large field of view, super clarity, um, and 
the quality of the glass on here that this focus wheel is so good that it can be used as a rangefinder. So what we do is we supply you with a set of stickers that you can actually stick on here. Everybody's eyes slightly different, that's why they're not preset. But what we say to you is set yourself out on a measured, with a tape measure, 30 meters. Do your shooting on there, put your sticker on, mark it to 30 meters. And then if you dial that to 40, 50, 60 meters, that will be bang on. That's how precise these are. Super smooth as well. No need for big wheels or anything on there to help you with it. You can easily turn those with gloves. Fantastic. Um, we move down onto the back end here. Then what we have is an end cap on the back. Some people do like to take this end cap off. They find it easier, but it's there, a rubberized end cap. Now, the, 40, the 10 by 40 that I have here and the 14 by 50 are what we call zero eye relief scopes. So they are within the 17, 18 millimeter. That's just how far your eye needs to be away. So you'll notice in the back, there's a little cap that says recoilless only. These are designed for air rifles or recoilless rifles. You don't want to be using this on something that's gonna give you a kick because it's gonna hurt you. But basically recoilless rifles only on here. Um, inside here is a dioptic, which you can change, goes up to dioptic measurement four on here. And a lot of people do ask, can you put a PARD NV07 on here? And yes, you can if you get the right attachment, the right diameter tube on there, but you will lose some field of view because just the way that the PARD works. Moving on to the mounts, like I said, all of the scopes that I sell, I've got mounts on them, and the mounts that you'll get are all come with these MOA mounts that on the bottom that you can see here. So in the box, you'll get your actual scope, which will normally be fitted with the medium mount, but you also get inside the box, and nice beautiful little box case here, is you'll get the extra long one and the extra small one. Um, these allow you different mounting options, how you want to work. And the one nice thing about these mounts is what are called MOA mounts. These basically allow you to take the, take the scope, loosen the bolts at the bottom, and lift the elevation up and down, which saves you from having to shim the scope on the rifle. So these are Piccadilly mounts, MOA on there, loosen three screws, shim it up and down, set it how you want it. Saves a lot of time and a lot of effort. A lot of people ask, can you actually mount these onto dovetails? Yes, you can, but you'll need dovetail adapters and we have them on the website if you want them. So if you're gonna put this onto a dovetail, make sure you add a set of adapters that we've got on the website for you as well. Moving on to the box itself, all the immersive optics come in these quite nice little boxes on here. Um, same design boxes for all of them, but inside the box you will find a good instruction set. Um, this is in proper English, um, written in the UK. Um, you'll find a cleaning cloth in here, and you'll also find a sticker set for your range finding on your parallax, as well as the actual extra mounts and Allen keys. We'll also supply the battery for you as well. But the prices on these, Let's get right down to it. Um, like I said, the prices on these, 248 pound for the 10 by 40. You know, your nearest competitor is well in excess of 500 pound. And then we've got the even bigger one, which is the 14 by 50. And a lot of people are expecting this to be quite expensive. Nope, 252 pound. Mounts, everything, all you gotta do is pay for the shipping. What I've got here is the 10 by 40 mounted up onto my Leshy. Um, and um, you know, some of you will notice at the top of here, we have Tri-Aim. And a lot of people laugh at this, but it actually works really well. The whole point of Tri-Aim is literally, it's just a ring that's mounted on here. And this part here gives you an extra piece of support. So you've got this third level support on your forehead, but also it allows you to, to quick snap up, eye in the perfect place and fire. Um, so it works brilliantly with Tri-Aim in here. And you can see here, like I said, I've got the, the, 40, uh, the 10 by 40 sat on the Leshy and it fits it quite nice. Um, the 14 by 50 may be a little bit too big. Um, so really you pick the scope that suits you. There is now the full range from Immersive Optics. Um, we have the five to 24, we have the 10 to 24, we have the five to 30s, and now these two finalize the range, which is like I said, the 10 to 40 and the 14 by 50. I'm gonna answer a few questions that a lot of people ask me about the scopes now. Um, one of the questions are, they ask is, these are copies of another well-known brand of scope, and that's why they're so cheap. 
Now, let me answer that, and I've answered it in the other videos as well, but I think it's important, is the design of those well-known brands of scopes that you see out there is the same designer as these. When they design scopes, they design three or four different ranges of the scopes, and these particular scopes were never taken up by the likes of the well-known companies that you said, so they sat on the shelf. So the designer basically said, instead of them sat on the shelf, I'm going to bring them to market myself. So they're made by the same people, same factories. Yes, they're made in China like most scopes are, and then they're shipped over to the UK. Why are they so cheap? Why is this 252 pounds instead of five, 600 pounds? Well, it's quite simple. So we don't have buildings and 100 people to look after and all of those extra costs. And we can get these to you for a cracking, cracking price. And of course, I'm a reseller uh, for these scopes. And um, we sold, I personally sold about 60, 70 of these scopes and um, we've had zero returns on them. Absolutely brilliant. In fact, I've been leaving some comments around. People have brought three or four of these scopes and replaced a lot of the scopes. Why do you need a massive great big scope on your air rifle when generally you stay at 10 times or 14 times zoom? Stick a prismatic on there, it just works really nice. The main thing that stopped people doing it is the price point. Well, that price point has now been changed completely. Um, I also get asked a lot of times, do you ship to America? Unfortunately, no. It's far too expensive for me to ship out there. It's far too expensive for me then to service if there's any issues or anything like that. But I do believe Immersive Optics soon will be launching a distribution in America, so keep an eye out for that. But anyway, I know a lot of you guys have got these scopes already because I launched them first on Facebook. Um, that's one of the benefits of joining the Facebook group. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts on them, but um, fantastic scopes. <laughs> believe it or not a cracking price when i was told the price of these i couldn't believe it so anyway love to know your thoughts and comments as always i've been steve you can check underneath the youtube video description for where you can get these they sell out quickly every time i get them i'd love to know your thoughts and comments and catch you on the next video